G'day, today we're going to have a look at Zotero Reference Manager. Now this is just an introduction to Zotero. This will be the first video in a series about how to use Zotero in conjunction with Obsidian for the best note taking and referencing experience. You can download it for Windows, Mac or Linux, no problems. It also integrates with your web browser. So if you're doing research online, there is an extension for the browser and you only have to click on that and it will automatically import your web page or the citation, all the details of that particular paper into Zotero. It has fantastic bibliography and citation features and the citation features you can select as to whether you want an APA or ASA or Harvard, Australian, or whatever. It's just got a whole range of them. And the ones that aren't there by default, you can often find them online and import them. It will provide you with the ability to search for papers, this icon here, and it will just add those to it straight away in, in these areas. Now you can see those little arrows here, that indicates that there's an attachment to it because if there's a PDF available, it will also download the PDF and the PDFs can be annotated within Zotero, which is really handy because when you annotate them with using highlighted colors, you can then click on those and add your own notes to it as well. Now there's a local database when you download it, it will set up your local database and that will also sync with your account online. If your referencing grows to a huge level, you can also purchase increased storage limits so that way your vault is never compromised and you've always got a backup to it. Now, when we talk about Obsidian, Obsidian is a personal knowledge management system. It's available for note making and note taking. It is in markdown format, so it will never be superseded. You will always have your notes because they are effectively in text-based files. So there's no proprietary code there where you could be compromised and lose your notes. It has remarkable linking concepts so that you can end up with a web of linked articles and go from one to the other to the next. And that is the power of it compared to a word processor. It has remarkable organizational abilities for knowledge and notes. And it's also free, unbelievable, but it's free for personal use or $25 for a lifetime license to support development. So why Zotero and Obsidian? Well, Zotero is the only reference manager I know that integrates with Obsidian via a free plugin. Annotated notes in Zotero can be brought across with all of your annotations and all of your notes to those annotations attached. And if you use colored highlights when you're annotating your notes within Zotero, it will also rank the notes in order of importance. So that's a basic introduction to the two applications that we're going to be looking at. And in the next video, we will look at setting up Zotero.